Hey everybody, it's Joe with Logan Party of Four Runner. I wanted to show y'all our camper. Um, this is a camper that we've been using for the last close to two years now. We took it on our trip to Yellowstone and we've had a whole lot of fun with it. We know a lot of other people would probably want to, you know, build something uh, like this and wanted to show y'all what we did. This camper is actually for sale. Um, as much as we've enjoyed it with four of us, it's a little too small. So we've kind of outgrown it and we're looking to move on to something else. But we wanted to show it to you before uh, before we get rid of it. So this is a 5x8 V-nosed cargo trailer that I ordered new with the door in the V-nosed, with the windows, there's a window on both sides. We've got the barn doors in the back. And I ordered it um, with the walls and ceiling insulated. It was otherwise just bare on the inside. So I also ordered it with uh, the roof racks up there so that we could haul some extra stuff up there and so I could put this awning on the back. Um, in the back, this awning is six and a half feet wide. The camper itself is only five feet wide, so it hangs over on either side a little bit, which is kind of nice because when it opens up, it opens up eight feet. Um, it gives you extra coverage out here. Um, I'll go ahead and show you the back part since we're here now. Um, this is the kitchen area. This is probably my favorite part of the camper. We've got a countertop, a bar sink, got a seven gallon water tank that just gravity feeds into here and then drains into this bucket a place for paper towels and uh, pot scrubbers and soap and everything good bit of workspace here some shelving i got a battery powered light here that's adequate for nighttime use i have a uh, one drawer here and then this slides out for our cooler also got storage under here for our uh, camp stove, propane bottles, stuff like that. I've got a little holder here for the stove that holds it, keeps it from rattling around. And then this right here is a fold-up shelf that was meant for use of the stove. On this side, I've got this mounted, this mount for this folding card table. It comes off pretty easily. You know, this opens up and is really helpful to eat at or for extra food prep storage or whatever. Um, but it sits nicely right there. So that's about it. Um, also, you can't really see it in here, but I do have uh, 30 amp shore power. The little um, breaker box is right back here. You can see it easily when the uh, coolers are removed. But that gives me an outlet here. Then I have an outlet on the outside here. This is the input for the 30 amp. And then there's two other outlets on the inside. Um, for, for the air conditioning, we have a, an AC unit that goes in a, a window. And somebody gave it to me and I modified it to put a couple of outlets on it for the intake and, uh, and exhaust. And I pipe it with two pieces of ductwork into a piece of plywood that goes right here that's got the two corresponding holes. And then it's got a piece on the inside that clamps it in. And uh, it's a little bit awkward, but it's worked really well for keeping us cool even in August temperatures in Charleston, South Carolina, which is about as bad as it gets. So it does work. So we'll show you the inside. An RV style latch that I added so it can be open and closed from the inside. Right here on the door, I've got this fold down right here. And the little um, Mr. Buddy heater that sits on the propane tank, if you take that foot off, the propane tank fits right in here, it sits right here, and when you close it up, it, it shoots the heat in very nicely, and it works really well. It heats up really fast. And I've got a little shoe rack here, and you can see the 
inside. So on the inside, it's right now set up um, with a booth. Pretty comfortable to sit at and eat. You got the two outlets here. Uh, these fold up and you got quite a bit of storage space under these two. Um, these right here kind of serve a couple diff different purposes. If you're set up like this, it's a nice place to, you know, set things, set, you can set stuff here and here, but they're also part of the bed, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, the table is supported with this piece of uh, pipe in the middle, and then I have two um, screws into the back with wing nuts on the bottom, and they hold the table steady and keep it from pivoting and stuff. Alright, so once you got the screws out, the table fits down right in here. You can put that leg under there. So there's a couple other kind of configurations. You can fit this cushion in right here, and then you leave that one there. You can put it anywhere you want it. And this kind of the, the lounge area is plenty comfortable to hang out. You know, if you got a laptop you want to mess with or play cards or something, you still have a pretty good amount of floor space here. But it's not, and I mean, you could, you could kind of lay down here and take a nap, but it's not full length. So to get it full length, these drop down. down like this this cushion comes down here now we don't have much floor space left but it's still enough to come in sit down take your shoes off stick them in the door um, and then you've got a bed now I'm I'm almost 6'4 so my feet hang off the end a little bit but you know it's fine for most people and it doesn't bother me either and we've slept as much as four of us in here pretty comfortably it sleeps pretty nice and i have this right here that folds down so you can put your duffels and stuff up here and get them out of the way for lighting we have five of these uh battery powered puck lights that you can turn them on individually like this or there's a controller on the wall where you can turn them all on and off at the same time. And it's also got a 12 volt light when it's hooked up to the rig and, and it's got lights on there. The light will work here. The windows, you know, the windows open and we got screens and we have a, a fan that we hang up right here. It's a battery powered job site fan. So it'll hang up and you can open both of these windows and get a nice cross breeze and with the fan blowing, it'll keep you comfortable most of the time right there. And also if you've got the heater running, the heater kind of blows the heat up. And if you turn the fan pointing down, it does a good job of circulating uh, the heat in here. So that's about it. Um, hopefully it gives you some ideas for your own projects. Uh, or some inspiration. If you have any questions, you can feel free to, uh, you know, drop a comment and I'll help you out any way I can. And I uh, hope you like this video and will like and subscribe to our channel. We're going to be doing more um, walk arounds of our vehicles and stuff and doing some product installation videos and stuff coming up, as well as we got a lot of uh, fun adventures planned for this year that we'll be taping and posting videos of. So like and subscribe and check all that out. Thank y'all.